Good morning and welcome back. Youth Rise, Student Council, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Youth Rise applications for the 2023-2024 school year are open. This is for any student in Clinton County that will be in grades 9 through 12 next school year. The application link is in the chatter. Applications are due today. Do you want to be a part of student council next school year? If you do, fill out the application with the link in the chatter or scan a QR code on the papers around the school hallways. They must be submitted today. If you are a previous member, you must reapply. If you have any questions, email Mrs. Mowdy or see her in room 207. Everyone, please be sure to check your email for a lot of information about Make It Through May, Dress Up Days, and the Dodgeball Tournament. Just a heads up that the team registrations must be turned in by the end of the day on May 3rd. Now, let's send it to sports and weather. Thanks, Emily. The boys and girls track team had a great week this week. The guys team competed at the Noblesville Invite on Tuesday against some of the best teams in the state. The guys posted a lot of personal bests at Noblesville and it was great to see our guys compete at such a high level. On Thursday, the boys team won the county meet again with more than 30 points separating the first place dogs from second place. In every event, the guys performed well and placed multiple guys in almost every event. The girls had a lot of standout individual performances and fought through some injuries and sickness to place third. As we turn our attention to preparing for conference, the dogs have the day off and will look to come back next week fresh and rested to finish off the season strong. Hot dog golfers returned home Thursday to play the third day in a row. Unfortunately, visiting Tri-West and Crawfordsville found or found the commons to be favorable to them. The Bruins carded a team 162 to win the three-way match. The Athenians registered a 176 and Xavier McIntosh led the dogs with a score of 46. Other counting scores were Caleb Compton, 52, Jackson Ray, 53, Luke Beardsley, 55, Alex Taylor, 58, Edwin Wayne Scott, 55, Jackson Woods, 57, and Trey Seward, 58, carded scores for Frankfurt. The dogs hop back into action tomorrow playing at Lebanon starting at 5 p.m. But let's take a short break and send it to Nelson for the weather report. What up, dogs? Coming into school today, it was a cool 45 degrees with some rain. 45 will also be the low for today, while the high for today is 54, which will hit us at around 7 p.m. As of right now, we can expect mostly cloudy, gray skies, with some scattered rain throughout the day. The rain will continue up until 3 p.m. For tomorrow, we can look forward to a 50% chance of rain, with the low being 41, while the high will be 67. It's a little warmer. And a quick reminder, it may be cold and rainy outside, but if you come to school at around 7 p.m. tonight and tomorrow, you'll be more than welcome to a nice and warm auditorium where you can watch The Wizard of Oz. Tickets are $5 for students, while $8 for adults. Anyways, that's all for weather today. I hope you guys have an amazing day and an even better weekend. Now back to your very beautiful sports guy. Thanks, Nelson. The Lady Hot Dogs tennis team faced off against the North Montgomery Chargers Thursday, April 27th losing 1-4 to four as a team. Number one singles Libby Pierce looked to improve by pushing her game. She gets smarter every match. She won 6-1 and 6-0. Carly Williams has gotten in a much better groove with her ground strokes but ended up losing 2-6 and 1-6. Emma Wilder lost a hard fought battle at three singles, 4-6, 7-5 and 10-6. While still continuing to add some nice pace to the ball, one doubles, Caitlin Barkley and Dallas Garcia Martinez are still developing strategies and got three games, losing 3-6 and 0-6. Two doubles, Kate, Gabe and Elena Dudley pushed the ball and had some great net play, unfortunately coming up short, 5-7 and 4-6. The varsity softball team moves to take action tomorrow against Clinton Prairie. The game will start at 9 a.m. and the game will be at Clinton Prairie. The varsity baseball team takes to the road to take on Clinton Central. The game starts at 10 a.m. and come out and show your support if you can. But that's all for sports. Now back to the hosts. The FHA's theater 
will be open tonight for another great run of the Wizard of Oz. Doors open at 6.30. Make sure to get there early to get a good seat. We're excited to see you all come out and watch the show. If you can't make it tonight, there will be another show Saturday at the same time. Hope to see you there. Continue with fun facts about Mr. Field. For today's fun facts, Mr. Field has an almost twin brother. If you don't know what an almost twin brother is, it's when your brother looks so much alike, it's almost like they're twins. If you see Mr. Field, ask him for a picture. I'm very sure he'll be delighted to show you. For lunch today, lines one and two will be chicken smackers with orange sauce. Line three will be barbecue sandwiches, and line four will be pull-apart pizzas. Also, happy birthday goes out to Lizbeth Naba Lopez. That's all for announcements today. Make sure to like it and subscribe.